Hello there, my beautiful butterflies. This is the Awakened Butterfly here today. And I am back with another video. If this is your first time, make sure you watch the entire video. And if this is something that you feel like you would like to be a part of your daily YouTube watching life, then make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And for the people that are already subscribed, <clears throat> excuse me, welcome back. And can you guys see me? I hope you can see me. I have the glare through my window here. It's making kind of blurry on the camera, but I hope you guys can see me. But um, I'm here to um, address a very important topic. I usually don't like wasting time. I like to just get straight into it. Um, I'm not going to call it the, what to call it, the jab, okay? Uh, today we're going to be talking about the jab. Uh, me, you guys, my beautiful butterfly babies, and this is Blaze, guys. This is, this is my lovely baby monkey that my um, fiance gave me for Valentine's Day about two years ago. And I have an attachment to him. I sleep with him. Like, he's like a comforting um stuffed animal for me so yeah this is blaze guys so he's gonna be here with us while we discuss this very important topic today um i don't want anyone to feel like they have to do this because there are other options it's just a choice guys it's it's not a demand um I know that there's a lot of pressure on people's jobs out here. I know that there's a lot of pressure on um, schooling and a bunch of other things. Um, traveling, it it puts a strain on things, the whole pandemic, so to speak. Um, I know that a lot of people feel like if they don't get the jab, that they won't be able to live their regular lives. Guys, this is only temporary. So with that being said, I'm going to need you to be strong. Don't get it. Okay, with that being said, don't get it. Because there's this word, and this such thing called fear, that certain people use in order to control you. Or to control, you know, to control how you see life, how you think, how you act everything to keep you from being your true self and this is one of those things so right now i'm going to need everyone to stand their ground and stay strong if you feel like you're stuck in the house right now and you can't travel or do certain things whatever the case may be uh which i'm not sure if it's gotten to that point yet where they actually try to just force it uh onto people i know um in certain healthcare facilities that um, by the end of this month if you don't have it um you will be laid off for two weeks until you get it and if not you won't be able to return so that might put a lot of people to me that's kind of like a way of pressuring people to do it um and with that being said you have to stand stronger stand stronger don't do anything you don't feel comfortable with doing if you're one of those people that are not feeling right about getting it and you're finding yourself going through a debate with family members and friends and co-workers don't even argue with them just stand strong on your decision and that's it if you've tried to reach out to your loved ones and talk with them and convince them on why they shouldn't get it and no one's listening there's nothing you can do about it you can keep trying but if it's getting to a point to where people are blaming you for um, or people like you for spreading the virus because you're not getting the shot, then it's pretty much over. Their mind is pretty much made up. But um, for the sake of humanity, if you can talk to someone, like I'm talking to you guys right now, hoping that someone would look at this video and if they decide to get it and make them not want to after they see this because I don't know if you guys remember a while back when 
Um, it was a plan. Guys, I'm trying to be very careful about uh, certain things that I say on this video. When there was a plan to control everyone with a certain device that was going to be distributed into us some kind of way. And I think years and years, um, they've been trying to figure out how they were going to insert this device. And I think this is it through this, you know, the jab. So be careful, be safe. Um, I know a lot of people are like, how am I going to refrain from getting this when I have a job that I have to, you know, I have bills to pay. I have children to take care of. I have a household to keep up. Guys, now is the time to start looking into some things, that, to some dreams that you may have been having, you know, you know how you may have always wanted to own that business or open that restaurant or that coldest. I mean, you know, and you've just been afraid to do it, to just step out there because you didn't, you thought it was going to be a fail. It's not. It's your dream for a reason. And this is the time, guys. It, it's the time for us to step out there. And I'm not saying just quit our jobs, but we can keep staying on our, you know, job and saving money and trying to take care as much as we can until it gets to that point where, you know, they come to you and say, hey, you have to get this or else. In the meantime, while you're there, go ahead and start, you know, thinking about that online business, thinking about that, you know, that shop that you want to open or, you know, just start thinking about some of your talents and skills that you feel like um, you can make a living off of, but you enjoy it because you love it. You know, this, I feel like this is a time where, you know, God is really trying to show us um what time this is and i feel like this is the time for us to start fulfilling our dreams and wishes um with, and to be honest with you all of our dreams and wishes are something that's going to help humanity in the world because it's a gift that god bless you with and he knows what you're going to do with it and if now then never this is the time guys this is the time for us to stand up for what we believe in and accomplish our dreams, period. It's just that time. There's nothing else to think about. There's nothing to be scared about. Uh, the what ifs and all that. Guess what? You'll never know until you get out there and try. It's if we, you know, we spend a lot of time on things that we know is not going to work and we keep trying it. Let's go ahead and put that energy to some things that we are really passionate about in our hearts and see where it goes. God won't fail you. He will help you along the way. He will send your ancestors and angels to help you along the way and to guide you. You will see your angel numbers. You will see signs. Just They will pop up right in front of your face out of everywhere from a, from a, a television commercial to a billboard. Um, don't let this thing scare you. And don't let it make you feel stuck like you can't move forward because you can. Um... I, was, I saw a quote from a, a very um, intelligent young lady that does a tarot. Um, I forgot her name and I, I want to pronounce it wrong. But she said that one of the, and it, it really makes sense. It resonates to what I'm about to say to you guys right now. She said that um, if you work for yourself, you don't have to worry about the jab. And she's never been more right. Guys, if we start looking into our dreams and trying to accomplish our goals, it's going to be a success. And once it, because you're passionate about it. And once it is, you'll never have to work for anyone again. And you, therefore, you won't be pressured to do something that you don't want to do. And I'm in the process of that right now, trying to, you know, transition into, you know, working from some, for someone else to working for myself. I'm still trying to find my way through that as to what I, you know, what direction I need to go in. And I, I want to make sure it's something that I'm really, really, really passionate about. And I'm really passionate about cooking. I love cooking and I'm really passionate about being a nurturer and taking care of people all together. So I'm trying to find a way to combine all these things together, which I kind of got some ideas and 
I will be keeping you guys. You get you guys are gonna go on that full journey with me and comment down below some things that um you guys would like to do or you know that or you know been thinking about doing or say God I'm ready. Comment down in the comment section below and say God I'm ready. I'm ready to start this business. I'm ready to open up this shop. I'm ready to do something to help humanity because this is what I've been wanting to do and I've been letting fear hold me back. Guys, the time is now. No more fear. No more fear is accepted. It's over. It's our time to accomplish our dreams. And it's all good. It's all going to be good. So, um, God told me to tell everyone out there that's having second doubts and thoughts about the jab. Don't worry about it. Don't get it. And you will be okay. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Peace.